A prophet of who, bro? A prophet of God. Well, the living God. Well, he's a prophet of the living God. Okay, bro. Will you tell me some stuff? And as long as none of his stuff doesn't line up with the word of God, then he might be a prophet. He was telling, he was telling how this person was giving a testimony about how, how uh, the Lord, uh, uh, you know, God was able to, um, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was telling him, like, you know, that, he, uh, you know, he wanted him to, he wanted him to do something, right? Right, and he, the uh, Lord visited him in a dream. He, uh, no, it, it wasn't a dream. This wasn't a dream. It was while he was, he was, he was awake. He was, you know. Okay. It was normal. It was just that, like. Bro, that's the same thing that up. happened to Saul when he became Paul. And it happens today, bro. It happens it, in Muslim happens, countries. Uh, it happens a lot told, in Muslim he countries. He told this person, he told this person that he wanted them to travel, right, to this yeah. place. And he said. How am I going to do this? I don't have money to do it. I don't have, you know, he didn't have no way. He told the person to go to the airport, go inside the bathroom, and just praise me. Just praise me, right? And as he was praising the Lord, he, when, uh, when he, when he had, when he was done and when he had opened his eyes, he was in the bathroom of the airport where he needed to be. Okay. Right? I'm not shocked. And then, Oh, and then check this out. Even though, okay, he wanted he wanted to he wanted him he, he wanted the person to preach to preach his word to the people his to his people, right? Yeah. And, and uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, he was, and then he was God speaking, gave him the he language. Was speaking in English. Right. And they he were was understanding. In English. Right. And they were understanding. But they were understanding it. Yeah. Of he course, was speaking, bro. He, he was preaching in English, but they it was when he was when he as he was speaking it, they were hearing it in their language. That happened in Acts chapter in three, English. bro. Acts chapter three. That's not, that's not, that's all, that's, that's a simple thing for God, bro. That's not difficult for yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. But I'm telling I'm you, saying. listen to me, bro. I'm telling you, if you come at people with a King James only attitude, you're not going to see those kind of miracles. You're not going to see the, not, I don't, listen. I don't, okay, listen, okay. I need you to listen okay. for a minute. Okay, okay bro? Okay. I need you to listen to for a minute. Okay. Okay. okay? You're not. You need to read. Okay. You need to read the book alone in my kayak. Paul Putkotuk. Oh my goodness, bro, bro. You're like the you're like the second person that told me this. Hey, bro. But you need to you need to hold on for a minute until I finish, okay? You need to read okay. the book alone in my kayak because Paul Putkotuk, when there was a storm coming, and he had some uh, sheep that had to come off the mountain. And he wasn't going to be able to get it off the mountain. Bro, the whirlwind picked it up and delivered it down to the bottom of the mountain. Okay? That's Paul Putkotuk. Now, there's a brother, uh, Kotzebue area. What's the, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the health, what's the health thing named in Kotzebue? The health, the, they're named after this prophet. No, not Kawera. Come on, woman. You, you work with them. In Kotzebue. What? Negative woman, not Nana. I don't, I don't know. Listen, you look up the prophet Manilik, bra. Manilik. Manilik was a prophet of God, bro. Okay, he came and he told his people, brother, gonna get these white fellas. They gonna come with one book of leaves. Listen to them, bro. Okay, God has his people. In every country in the world that can deliver his word miraculously. Jesus is appearing, Jesus is appearing to people in all these Muslim countries that uh, these authorities think they are stopping the gospel. Brother, you know, can stop the gospel. Any door the Lord opens. The more you try to stop it, the stronger it gets. Right. That's why Americans... Bro. Bro, the, the, that's why the American power. Christians are so weak, because they don't know trial and tribulation. American Christians, they want the sea to stand for convenience and comfortable. Brother, the sea in Christianity does not stand for convenience and comfortable, okay? It stands for crucifixion, bro. And crucifixion, not comfortable, bro. You understand? 
That's why you yeah. have a bunch of weak Christians in America. That's why you can get guys that have been going to church 40 years, and the first little trouble that hits them, they fall down and they start rolling on the floor and barking and whatever they like to do. Because they're not strong, bro. Because they haven't been tested. Okay, I'm finished. Go ahead, talk. Tell me, just, tell me. Uh, yeah. I, I was just saying that I, that you're the second person that told me that I need to read this book. And I, I believe I need to read it. Yeah, well, it's hard to get. You go ask Crawford Putkotuk or somebody maybe in the library at uh, somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. But uh -huh. you got to get the book, bro. Alone in my kayak. And then you do some research on Maniluk. Maniluk. I'm sorry, my cops of you, brother, if I'm saying them wrong, yeah? Maniluk. But whatever. Yeah, Maniluk. That was a man of God, okay? Let me tell you else who, who else are holy men. Crazy Horse was a holy man. Geronimo was a holy man. Sitting Bull was a wow. holy man. They knew wow. the one true God, bro. These men wow. knew the one true God. So when they faced tribulation, they had a peace that surpasses all understanding. Okay? Wow. I going to see some of these men pretty soon. I going to see Geronimo. I going to see Sitting Bull. I going to see Chief Joseph. I going to see Crazy Horse. I going to see Manilak. I going to see Paul Patkotak. I going to see the brothers that stay in the Muslim countries and Jesus appearing to them. Because God can speak any kind of language, not just King James only. That's, yeah. all, that's all I'm trying to tell you, yeah. bro. Don't get too, don't no, get too yeah. hooked on that, bro. You'll get the hooked on that, that and, and you'll be right, yeah. but you won't get anybody saved. All right. Is my, is my meal ready or what? Hey, bro. Last night I yeah. had... I had a pretty uh, long night, and I had to get up early to teach a Bible study, and I'm going to send that to you here shortly. Well, right now I got to okay. I got to grind on a piece of meat, and uh, maybe I'll call you back this evening. But I'm going to put you on my uh, my message list, where I'm going to send you the daily Bible study, and all you got to do is read that chapter every day, so that you're prepared to receive okay. what the rest of the brothers saw. You understand? Yeah, okay. I understand. Okay, uh, I just wanna, I have one more question, Uncle Mike. Yeah, I'll give you one more question. I I give, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I'll give you one more question, but I want you to greet your Auntie Gigi, bro. She's standing right here. You never say nothing. Honey, you want to say hi to Christopher? Hi, Chris. His name is Christopher. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Christopher. You want to tell him about how much you love him hi. and all that? Love you lots, Christopher. I love you lots. You, you got to say I before. Hey, Christopher, she kind of hot-headed, but, yeah. you know, whenever you tell somebody love you, hey, love you, bro, love you, bro, no can like that. You have, always have to say I love you. Okay? All right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, man. Say what you wanted to say, and then I got to eat. Or you had one more question you said. The question I had was, what made you say what you said to me? The Holy Ghost told me to say that. You were supposed to start a Bible study in Atkasuk a long time ago. And the Holy Ghost told me, if you don't get it started, I need to go out there this summer and give you a crack and a kick in the butt. You need to get a Bible study started with one man. And then it's going to grow to two, then three, then four, then five, then twelve. And one gonna be one bugger. I believe you. And I believe hey, that I, I, I believe that I'm behind. Okay, you are behind, bro. You're behind the eight ball. Time to take a shot, bro. Okay? Uh, I, don't, I don't like come up there this summer. Okay. If I come up there this summer, I like being one one men's Bible study with some aluk de rock on the stove, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, you better get hunting, bro, and you better get fishing for men. Okay, pray us out, bro. I hear you. Pray us out. I hear you, Uncle Mike. Okay, then pray us out if you hear me, bro. Pray I, us out. Okay, I, 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 I'll say a prayer real quick. Hold on. Let me just stop real quick. I don't want to be driving while I'm talking. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Right. You're breaking the law. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, I mean, Father, we thank we we ask you to be your son. We we ask you your son for thanks and blessings, and I, I thank you for all the work that you're doing and that you are waking us up to. I thank you for all the love that you're showing and the, that you're sharing, and the knowledge and the wisdom that you're increasing. And I just hope that I do everything that you want me to in this life before you know it's too late. And I'm just thankful for everything that all the sins that he he sent his son for, and I'm just thankful for life. Jesus, and pray. Hallelujah! Amen. Hey, Dad, you're my Abba Father. That means I can call you Daddy. Uh, I can call you Dad. I can call you Papa. I can call you Atanek. I can call you Kekua. You speak all kind of languages, Dad. You speak uh, in the Muslim countries, you speak their language. In the Eskimos, you speak their language, the Inupiat. Down Turtle Island side, you speak every tribe's language, Lord. You don't only speak King James. You speak King James, too. But that's not the only language you get, Lord. And uh, I like, uh, I appreciate the word. My son, Christopher, just went to say that he wants to do something before it's too late. Well, the only thing it's too late for is, uh, like the prophet when seeing, yeah? It's too late to turn back now. I believe, I believe, I believe I'm falling in love. Lord, we like to fall in love with you. Because it's too late for us to turn back any other way. You Amen. are the king. You are the prince of peace. You are the uncreated one you are the beginning and the end you encompass all uh democrats and republicans they don't matter you turn the hearts of the leaders and you make the power flow like one river wherever you like them go like the hula hula river i think go all over the place <clears throat> so hey lord thanks for having my son call me today so I can give him a little bit of scoldings, but give him more encouragement. And I just ask you to bless him and his family, his beautiful uh, Proverbs 31 bride, and all of his children. And then everybody said, Amen. 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 You're not going to help me out, Lola? Amen. 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 One more time now. Amen. All you need is one man. All you need is one man. Amen. And you get Christopher in there and in, in my in my hometown of Atkasuk. So Lord, I pray you use a man named Christopher Masange. We'll get one Bible study started. Aloha. Okay, brother. Son, I love you. Talk to you later, yeah? Alright, uh, Mike. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Aloha. <coughs> Thank you, sir.